Hello and welcome to the Dark Side Trooper channel. Today I'm going to be making a video, hopefully, explaining retro gaming versus emulator gaming with retro gaming because I was stumbled across across a, a forum and a lot of gamers were complaining that oh people who use retro gaming are just idiots. Well, emulators the best, obviously, but that's not the option. So I'm going to go out my way and hopefully make a wee video for you understanding the two different methods of gaming. So, hope you enjoyed the video and I'm going to get right into this. Right, retro consoles from Sega to Nintendo and some Atari gamers or hardcore gamers, arcade gamers, fantastic memories. Enjoy playing classics like what I'm about to play just now on the Sega Mega Drive, which is Mortal Kombat. Well, let's get right into it. And let's just check out, this is console, this is through the Elgato Game Capture HD straight to my te my HD telly into my computer as well and I'm recording through that so as you see it's pixelated I mean it's upscaling to 1080p so I mean it's going to be pixelated but that's just the way it is when some of you some of you will say oh you don't have a CRT screen oh who cares I'm not going to have some stupid crap telly sitting around my room and I've got a 42 inch HD telly and a 26 inch HD monitor. I'm not going to use CRT. So let's just play a couple of games here. See what happens. I mean, console gaming to me is just, there's no better than console gaming at the moment. Especially retro gaming. It's such a thrill to play an old game that was made back in the day. And to me, that's a good thing because I was born in 1990, so I didn't get to live in the 80s. I didn't get to live these games when they came out. I was one and I had a Super Nintendo, my first console, and I'm not afraid to admit it that Nintendo was my first console. Since then, Nintendo have been pretty poor, as just exactly as I am in Mortal Kombat right now, absolutely shit. Some of you some of you have probably played emulators and just went in, or even built your own emu machine. That's up to you. It really is up to your own preference of what you want to play. But as I say, this is pixelated, so that's just this is me just showing you my controller that I'm connected to the computer and that's a really bad angle of the emulator that I'm about to use, which is Fusion that plays Sega Mega Drive, so let's get into it. Now the emulation is wonderful. Simply download your preferred emulator and play away. Keyboards or controllers, really, whatever you want on your TV monitor, PSP, your phone, up to you, your watch, your arse, your elbow, your forehead. I don't give a crap. Google glasses, whatever you want, there'll be a way, which is good. As you see, the graphics are slightly better. That's because they're going through my NVIDIA GeForce 650 Ti Boost Windforce. I think I didn't check the specs before I done it. They're obviously slightly better here. It's really, it's really up to you. It's, it's really what up, it's up to you. It just is. It's up to what you want to do. If you want to play emulators or retro consoles, that's your thing. But for me, 42 inch screen playing GoldenEye with your four friends. Not that I've only got four friends. That's about the controllers. Take four controllers playing the original controllers on the original console on 42 inches. It might look a wee bit crap, but it's worth it when you've had a few beers. Right now I'm playing the emulator, as you see, it's, I mean, it's totally different. Well, to my eyes, it's totally different than the retro console. It's just up to you, it's what you think. Right now it looks like the emulator's winning. But for me, I don't think so, because you're wrong. There's nothing more satisfying than putting the, the, the cartridge in the console, the noise. So, hours of gaming on a retro console, come on. Either you can't afford it, or you just prefer to emulate, or you're sitting in your house alone, being a geek, oh I want to play Mortal Kombat on an emulator, well, why? Go pay 40 quid, 60 dollars, whatever, on eBay and get yourself the console, 100 dollars, 90 quid, if you want to get a boxed mint condition Sega Mega Drive or Nintendo, whatever your preference is, it's up to you. I mean, I invite my friends over 
to my house to play Street Fighter Championship Edition. Even though I get beat every time, it's worth it, especially on 42 inch telly. Absolutely worth it. But yeah, again, emulators are good because it's something I've got emulator on my phone, I've got emulator on my PSP, my laptop. I can play emulators anywhere. I've not actually started to make myself a Sega Mega Drive portable, which maybe someday I will do. But I mean, this is just for you. This is just oh my god, I just get raped. It's up to you what you want to do. I'm not really bothered. Do what you want. That's all that matters, isn't it? That is all that matters. Do what you want. Stop arguing with each other and just play the game. That's what it's all about. And if you get beat, if you're a bad sport, you're a good sport, it's up to you. Just accept defeat and move on. Just like I'm saying, buy a console, it's better. Thanks for watching.